Hello, welcome back to IT Lendy Nugget course around module 3. We're still with module 3. Today we will walk through how we can configure extranet password updates. Password expired for users. We are talking about ADFS here. We can do this one within AD, but here we go. Password expired for users working remotely leads to help us support call. ADFS provides a self service password update. You can see the KB article which remove the dependency for registering the device, requires service restart, restarting ADFS and the web servers. Okay. How that will look like? Here we go. You can see the endpoints. Click on the ADFS portal update password and then you need to enable it. Simple as that. This is where you can see all the endpoints for your ADFS from enrollment, and uh, you know other like uh, keys discovery and you know web and id and ctr okay you can see the authentication types anonymous you can change that one as well if you choose to these are the configuration once enabled attempt logon will expire password redirect to the password page then self service is possible by browsing directly to the same url you can have this is something like this be careful, this is only to update the password. This is not a password reset like what we do with AD or MFA. Okay, old password, new password, confirm and submit. This is how it looks like in ADFS. Now, the last part for our topic today is customizing the pages in ADFS. ADFS form based logon page are quite generic. You can use PowerShell. Uh, commandlet to log on page customize it with your own branding you can customize maybe the deployment and tailor specific relink party something like this from this logon page I can use the illustration and logo and sign in description maybe company uh, home page privacy help desk something like this you can see Microsoft they how they customize the us. okay if I need to change the map I will change the illustration I can see the logo these are the section home privacy links and sign in description you can customize it again based on your requirement as a uh, pair relaying party application maybe something like this I can do holistic sign in page using PowerShell uh, set ADFS global web content and ADFS theme I can do the link party set ADFS link party web content web theme and I can use JavaScript to handle the changes for my application. Okay, these are the new improvements the Microsoft have added. You know. Okay. And what else we can do with customization? I can customize the we said the primary page using PowerShell. This is the global content and the part itself. And one thing I need to notify you here. You know, I was working on this recently you can change the error page description the text of it as well so you can do that one you can change the error page for relaying party and you can you know put other generic messages yeah something like this this is a generic message for uh, please contact IT support okay the description you can change this why this is useful if you for example the one I was working on recently is like uh, customizing you know, when a user is not registered into the domain or MFA we force them via this message they hit ADFS and we do redirect them and we tell them okay you are not registered please go register and we put the URL or contact IT yeah but this is here where you can customize it uh, you can change the entire theme and style sheet and you can use the built-in you know theme called default you can export as a string point and you can customize it again you can use PowerShell to do this new ADFS theme new custom theme and you can specify the source and you can modify the directory path to C drive and you can set the theme to the you know style sheet you wanted and you can apply it like set ADFS web config hyphen active theme name and then you can call it custom this is how it looks like for us yeah Localize web content for non-English language is possible. For example, I have a multi-node 
each node sitting in a different zone. I can customize it to fulfill the requirement for each you know, zone, either German, French, or you know, Chinese, or whatever. Yeah. And this is a PowerShell command you can run to localize it. Okay. We also can 2016 customize the page per relink party. This is really important. I've got hundreds of the applications. I don't need to use the same relink party logo. For example, application for finance will have a logo represent finance or customer A, customer B, customer C with their own logos. I can customize the entire theme per application include logo alteration and this is the command you can run to customize it and you can customize the message as well set adfs link party co-op content and you can target the application the content and the logo as well all of these are available via microsoft website and you can see more and more customizing the link party company logo entire page these are the commandlets again they are available via microsoft website and you can use them to you know customize these pages that's all what I had for you for today around customization and I shall see you in the last part with the home relief discovery thank you for watching